What's up guys? Hey, a uh, beautiful day here in Cleveland. We got sunshine. We don't have uh, a lot of rain today, which is a, a miracle in, in and of itself. So, uh, what are you guys doing, man? You know, the crews are getting ready to roll out and I'm getting ready to take uh, this Friday by storm. I got some meetings going on. I've got uh, some properties to look at, so hopefully I can get this band of life going for you guys. And check out some props, check out the crews. Can't take you to the meetings, unfortunately, you know how that goes. Busy. You know, people don't like that YouTube deal. Like, oh, I'm on YouTube. I don't want to be on YouTube. Like, why? Why would you put me on YouTube? All right, all right guys, busy shit. We're gonna keep busy today. Let's go inside and see what's happening. All right, so um, generally when I start my day, I get everybody out in the morning, which I'm only doing that because my ops manager position is wide open. Anybody looking for an ops manager job, check it out, hit me up uh, if you're in the Cleveland area. Anyway, um, so today I have to I have to get some stuff done. This is my list. You guys make lists? I make lists every day of what I need to get done, how much I need to get done, my goals, and then I try to do the list and exceed the list. Because if you push for a little more, just a little bit, then you know you can do a little bit better than you thought you were going to do that day. So um, I love days like today because it's so nice outside and I get to be out, like checking properties and stuff. I really won't be in the office much today. Some days, like yesterday, I was in the office till six o'clock last night, you know, just doing proposals and getting stuff done and um, trying to get caught up here in the in the office. But generally, um, when I'm out, I'm out. Because for me, trying to come back in the office after being out for a couple hours on the road is super hard. You know, I have a hard time like trying to transition from that uh, office mode or road mode to the office. So uh, Nanette's in today, she'll be here in a few minutes. She'll cover everything in here, and that way I can get out and get going. So that's what I'm going to do. This is a shout-out, man. Um, I know Todd, Todd Poe. He's a cool dude. And uh, he is in the Snow Business magazine, so I'm looking forward to reading this article on his company, Enviroscapes. They're, uh, they're, sub they're south of here, and he really built a nice business. He also um, invented the mulch mule, so if you have one of those, he's the dude who did that. And I'm just looking forward to reading this. It's been sitting on my desk, so... Um, Shout out to Todd. Good job, man. Nice to see you on the cover of Snow Business. Anyway, all right, gonna get rolling, people. This is jam today, man. So, uh, I do have a couple client meetings which I can't really film today, but I, I can also uh, hopefully get out to some jobs, maybe a couple of little enhancement things that we did that I can show you guys, and uh, I'm just glad it's not raining, man. It's been raining for forever. All right, so uh, here at a job of ours that uh, we just put these couple of, hold on, I'll we just had to put in a couple of plants here. We, we had to remove a couple. Um, if I can find my before pictures, I will. But we had to remove some junipers and uh, replace them with some spirea, which makes it look so much nicer. The juniper were dead. So it was just a small little enhancement project we do. And uh, take a look at the other side because there's another side over here that we just finished. Same thing. Just put in these... Uh, Spireas back there. So, um, it's really nice. Cleaned it up a little bit. So, <clears throat> didn't cost a fortune either. Didn't take a lot of money. The customer didn't have to pay a fortune to make this happen. It just really spruced up the entranceway to this neighborhood. It's one of the uh, large HOAs that we maintain. So, uh, stop number one, friends. Well, stop number two after the coffee, right? All right, here we go. See you at the next stop. I ran into my dad. Hello. Hello. He's over here doing a uh, pruning job that he has been doing for years. Hello. How are you? Good. Just taking a little little video here from my friends on YouTube. 
<laughs> Showing him what a nice job. All right, so uh, I didn't even know my dad was here. So he still likes to get out there and do what he can do. And uh, this is uh, real close to where he lives. Customer we've had for 25 years. You can see what he did in the front there, trimming those shrubs. And uh, just happened to be right by the entranceway of the neighborhood that I was at. So thought I'd say hi. Anyway, moving on. All right, guys, heading into a meeting right now with the client. Okay, meeting one is done. Heading to meeting number two. Couldn't do any filming, you know. That's how it works. So uh, anyway, heading to my next meeting. And then uh, I'm going to do some uh, stops, hopefully afterwards, to some of the properties. Show you guys what's going on on those and maybe visit a couple of the crews. We'll see. Okay, stop number three. Just met with a, with a homeowner. I don't do a lot of homeowner stuff, but uh, just met with one. Now I'm going to head back here. It's one of our neighborhoods. We HOAs we take care of and take a look at the uh, play area. I want some mulch. Actually, we put this uh, trail in last year, so uh, we did that looking pretty good. It could use some spray, uh, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Holding up well. So this playground hasn't been done in a while, but um, there's playground mulch that we use that we can get from our vendors. So it's quite a bit of mulch. So I'm going to get them a price for this, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get the job. So we'll see. We'll see. All on a day's work. Man. All right, gang, hitting, hitting, hitting a uh, large HOA here. Got my crew over here just checking up on them. Figure might as well come out. It's a beautiful day, see what's going on. Got my man Eduardo back there. So this job is uh, it's one of our bigger ones and um, it's nice and dry today so it's not so bad as far as um, getting this thing done and getting it knocked out. But it's a good idea to stop in, check in your crews if you can. I don't get to do it a whole lot but you know, I was out and about today so I figured I might as well check it out, see what's going on here. So one of the things we've been doing this year a little bit more is uh, we've been doing a little more in the residential department. And uh, this is one of our new clients. We're gonna be doing the weekly maintenance over here and just doing a mulch and cleanup uh, at this particular house. Check it out. So, it's almost done. Came in here, kind of cut the bed edge and uh, repositioned the stones. Front yard, backyard, and then we'll be doing the weekly mowing something we started working on this year a little bit doing a little more in the residential department so got Isaiah's over there <laughs> he's camera shy <laughs> all right heading out um, not sure where I'm going from here I have a few more things to do and then I'll be out of here for the day Mike it's done early today it's Friday it's a good thing all right, hey guys, end of the day here, and what is one of my trucks doing in my garage? Well, we had an issue with this, and uh, actually we had a tie rod issue with this truck. So we took it up to uh, one of the shops here near my house, got it fixed, and brought it back here and thought I could try to fix the doors because I'm having some door issues with this thing. So anyway, time to wrap up the day. It's Friday, time for a break. Hey, August 16th here in Cleveland, um, so we're going to have an event. The Rack Brothers are going to have an event. And it's going to be a deep dive into the landscape business. We're going to have it at our facility, do some facility tour uh, stuff. We're going to do all kinds of stuff about growing your business, running your landscape business, how to grow your business to the next level. If you're interested in doing something like that, I want you guys to come to this event, okay? Uh, we're going to be posting more information on it, but mark the date, August 16th, Friday. Here in Cleveland, you can visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame while you're here and come and check us out. All right, so I hope to see you guys there and I'm looking forward to uh, getting this thing off the ground. We've done these before, it's been, always been fun. We only have limited seating, so uh, you know, get your reservations soon, as soon as I post something, all right? You guys have a great weekend. If you like what you're watching, um, subscribe. Thanks guys, talk soon.